Hello and welcome to the shop. A few weeks ago, I attempted to turn between centers on my Harbor Freight lathe and it didn't go so well. And many of you chimed in and gave me a ton of amazing ideas of things that I could test and check for to see if I could get that lathe into alignment. Um, Shortly after the video, the day, maybe two days later, I was contacted by Sean Shiree, and Sean had recently purchased a new lathe, and he had a Turncraft Commander, his old lathe, that he no longer needed and wanted to give to someone who would use it. So he contacted me to see if I would be interested in his lathe, and with the condition of mine, of course I was. It was, it was a wonderful opportunity. So Sean shipped that lathe up to me, and I've been using it. I've been turning on it for the last couple of days. It's absolutely amazing, but I think it's time to pull out those turn between center bushings. I've gone ahead and made up a couple of walnut blanks. I've got them drilled, tubed, and they're trimmed, ready for the lathe. We're gonna put the TBC bushings on there, and we're gonna give this a try and see just how well it works. Before we get started, a couple of housekeeping things. Uh, I went ahead and installed my dead center, and I've installed my 60 degree live center. My 60 degree live center had some CA glue residue on it from past projects, so I took some acetone and I cleaned it off really well so that there's nothing on there that's gonna interfere with the turn between center bushings. The next thing I wanna do is make sure that the two line up perfectly. And you can see that they do, so I'm real happy about that. This lathe that I'm using, this turn crafter, uh, has a much better locking mechanism on the tailstock. It doesn't move once it's locked, so I'm happy about that. Let's take a quick peek at the turn between center bushings. These are turn between center Wall Street bushings. They can be used for the Sierra or any of the pins that use the 2764 inch tube of that particular style. This shaft here slides into the tube and it is set to the exact depth that the blank needs to be turned to. These turn between center bushings were made for turning slimline pins. This is far too thick for a slimline, so you can drop a bushing onto the shaft, and that tells you just how thick you should turn your slimline pin. This is a brand new set of slimline bushings, and this particular set of turn between center bushings has only been used twice on my Harbor Freight lathe. I have a good friend who has a, the same set, bought them the same day I did from the same manufacturer. Now, these were purchased at a show. These were purchased at Woodcraft. The same guy makes these as makes these. So the quality I know is there. I think the entire issue t comes down to problems I was having with my old Harbor Freight lathe. I don't seem to be having any alignment issues with this new lathe, so we're going to give these turn between center bushings with the 7 millimeter bushings a quick test. The way these bushings work is there's a little conical dimple in the back, and that will set on the 60 degree dead center or the 60 degree live center. We're going to go ahead and put a slimline blank between our set of bushings. And you notice I do have a slimline bushing on either end so that I can turn it down to the proper diameter. I've got everything locked down really tight. Let me slide the lathe just a little bit so that you can see. I wanna make sure everything is in the frame. I'm looking at this and I got a nice tight fit on my 60 degree live center. I've got a nice tight fit on my 60 degree dead center. Everything appears to be lined up. I'm going to turn the lathe on at the lowest possible speed. And I don't notice any movement or vibration on these particular bushings. Let's go ahead and give it a little bit more speed. Seems to be operating very smooth. I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, dust collection system set up bring the uh, tool rest up, and we're gonna turn this blank and see what happens.
this is a slimline blank, so I went ahead and turned it down as slim as I could. It is perfectly aligned with the bushings on the front and back. So let's take this off the lathe and let's take a peek at both ends and see how she looks. Okay, we'll start with the end closest to the headstock and look at that. As far as I can tell, that's perfectly symmetrical. Flip over to the other end. Once again, I think we have a perfectly symmetrical uh, cylinder. So what that tells me is these turn between centered bushings are good quality. They're not flawed and using them to make a slimline pin will work just fine. The issue I was having was totally revolving around issues with my old lathe. And I do believe those issues were bearings in the headstock. I'd really like to thank you for joining me today. I wanted to do this little test ever since I knew that this lathe was coming my way. And, and the reason why is, I, on, on the lathe, I got a lot of great suggestions from you guys on how to check my old lathe for alignment and how to check the bearings and, and just every little aspect of the lathe. It was fantastic advice. There were a few people who pointed their fingers at these bushings and said, those bushings are garbage. You know, the manufacturer, they're, they're terribly manufactured. And I knew that was not the case. I didn't want to say anything, but I know the gentleman personally who manufactured these bushings. That gentleman manufactures every bushing that goes into every woodcraft store across the United States. I know he is meticulous about his quality, and I knew that these bushings were good. A friend of mine, uh, she has a set, the same set of these bushings. She bought them the same day from the same man, and she turned with them and did a quick little video on, on Facebook to show me that they work just fine on her lathe. So from, from start to finish, I pretty well knew it was the lathe. I just wasn't 100% sure where the issue was. I got to the point where I couldn't even turn on the mandrel with my lathe. The, I had the same phenomenon when I turned on the, using the mandrel. Uh, so I decided to stop turning pins uh, for a craft show I was working on and I went to turning bottle stoppers uh, so I would have something to fill my table. The bottle stopper, I only used the tailstock long enough to true it up. Once I was done, I removed the tailstock and turned the bottle stopper just on the little mandrel, which is only about two, two and a half inches long, that runs right off the headstock. I was seeing the same phenomenon where one side would be right at the mandrel and the other side would either be thicker or, or, or fatter than the mandrel or less than the mandrel, depending on how far down I turned it. I hope I explained that. It, it was oval, essentially which tells me that the problem is in the headstock. Now I'm looking toward bearings. I think that's probably the issue. Um, I don't know for sure. I don't know that I'll ever know because I'll be honest, I don't really plan to put any more effort into that lathe. Uh, I've made arrangements to give it away to someone and they're going to pick it up and uh, they're going to go through the process of figuring out what the problem is and repairing the problem. So. With that, I would like to thank you for joining me in the shop. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop, and I'd love for you to come back and see me again real soon. Take care and have a great evening.